Today we're going to take a look at the Data Bender from Cuba Electronics. The idea with this module is that it imitates the behaviour of musical mediums such as tape, vinyl, CDs and digital formats. And it does it in a kind of random way, you can't control exactly what it's going to do or when it's going to do it. But it's so much fun. So let's take a look at how it works. So the way the data bender works is it takes audio into the audio buffer and allows you to manipulate that audio. So if I play a few notes on the OP1 and I've hit the freeze button, you can hear that the audio is playing back and it's playing back at a rate determined by the clock. When the LED is blue, then it is using an internal clock and the speed of the clock is set by the time knob. When the LED is white, it is um, using an external clock and I have got a clock coming in here from uh, Pam's new workout. So now let's play an arpeggio here. And have a look at some of the features. The repeat knob controls the amount of repeats of each segment of the clock. goes right up into the audio range. So let's start on the effects. The first effect here is called Bend. And this kind of replicates vinyl and tape. So you're going to get um, pitch shifting and reversing and tape stops. Also does really nice stereo things. So the more you bring this up, the more intense the effect comes. So let's bring some reverb in. If you take it all the way up, it gets quite extreme. The nice thing about the bend effect is that the the uh, the pitch changes seem to come in octaves and fifths, so it always sounds very musical. So the next one along is called break, and this imitates the behaviour of skipping CDs or glitching um, digital music. Again, the more you bring it up, the more intense the effect becomes. Reverb. You 
can have both of these coming in together. freeze function just um, captures a slice of audio and if you've got it clocked then it generally is always in time. It's such a, a nice performance feature. next one along is called Corrupt and this is actually three different effects. Um, the first one, the blue LED is a bit crush. Let's bring that up. And actually the kind of the first couple in here have more of a sort of tape hiss or vinyl crackle effect which is really nice. some bit crush, that amazing digital sound. And there's really quite a lot in here. Some more extreme than others. This one along is a kind of tape dropout effect. I have to admit I don't particularly like that effect, I never use it. I think it would be good if instead of that kind of quite noisy sound if they had some maybe wow and flutter that would really that would have been really nice and the last one is saturation let's try some drum sounds on that I think it's a pretty good distortion. I actually really like it. I've used it on, on quite a few different sounds and it really... It's, it's amazing. Listen to how much it trans uh, trans 
That's the word I'm looking for. Transforms that sound. Okay, next we're going to look at the second mode. There is a second mode and it's called Micro Mode. So the green mode acts more like a tape player and gives you sort of pitch bends and reverse. So if I play the, the wee track from the beginning again, we can now control the pitch and tempo of this incoming audio using the bend knob. When the knob is at 12 o'clock, um, it plays back at the original tempo and you can move it up or down. And just like a tape player, when you move it down, the, the track slows down and when you move it up, it speeds up. So that does interesting things to your rhythms and you can use the, the repeat knob to add variation to that. If you hit the bend button you hear your audio in reverse. adds like kind of audio cuts determined by the clock speed. I'm sure that's useful for something. And of course you can use your bit crush and saturation on all of these. One of the things I like to do in this mode is using the freeze function, I'll play in uh, a random chord and freeze it. I'll pitch it down and then change the dry wet knob to like halfway and bring in a beat. Okay, my OP1 ran out of battery there. So yeah, I've got the chord frozen and I'm going to bring in a beat. Reverb. Bit crush. filter. Some repeats. A 
and you could CV this. I don't know how exactly you would, but you can if you want. So you can see how easy it is to come up with like creative ideas and, and creative ways to use this um, module. And that's what I really like about it. It's, um, it's very unique. There's no other module quite like this. And I, I should say that in the... I have owned a, a Morphogene before and it's because I wanted to do this type of thing. The glitching and the, the rhythmical patterns. But I found with the Morphogene, you had to like stop and start the recording and you had to slice it manually and I never bonded with it at all. When I sold the, the Morphogene, I didn't regret it at all. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this um, demonstration and I'll see you later. Take it easy.